Good morning, and welcome to Gray Man Walker. Today's day 30. It's about 9 o'clock, 49 degrees. We're just leaving the Cosby Knob Shelter. We're going to get off this mountain today. There's a cheeseburger in my future. Let's get with it. There was a beautiful red sky this morning, but we all know what that means. Some weather reports says it's starting early afternoon. Some say five. I'm hoping for the five. See how I like to get where I'm going. Not sure what I'm going to do this afternoon, but I know I'm going to go into town just long enough to get something to eat and a few resupply items. I like to get set up before it starts, but we'll see. Slept good last night. A lot of people in that shelter, a lot of section hikers going up the mountain. Two of the ridge runners were here trying to sort out who was going to be in the shelter and who was going to be outside, but Old hammock man here, he knows he's going to be outside. One of the ridge runners that we knew, uh, she just smiled when she remembered we had hammocks and wasn't going to add to her headache. But, uh, good bunch of people, their bodies talking and happy. Just met a hiker that stayed at the shelter last night. He walked off and forgot his trekking poles and had to walk back. Oh, that is so frustrating for anyone out here to, to have to backtrack any at all. I felt bad for him, but it's easy to do. Had a little sun come out. Take that. It's a nice warm day. The wind's blowing pretty good up high. We climbed out of, down out of the, some of the rocky trails. Just down here where there's a little more dirt and small rocks. A little bit easier on the feet. Has it, but you could go either way on that road and find trees. It's a theme today, isn't it? Well, you can see I-40 down there. Shad's girlfriend came to pick him up. Took us down to Newport, we got something to eat, and I did a little quick resupply. 
and uh, it's about I think about five o'clock so I'm gonna go a mile or two find a good spot set up for the night and call it a day well day 30 is in the books if you can hear it it's a raining out there uh, like I previously previously said we uh, did go into town get some to eat get a few more items for the next little stretch here get me into hot springs um, after I got dropped back off I walked another two hours two miles I mean uphill out of the from uh, where we went underneath I-40 I'm not quite top but I walked until I got to the first little little flat gap that's usually a place you can find a camping spot I'll make a note of the miles uh, don't have it in my head right now glad to get out of the Smokies a lot of the through hikers have a little irrational fear of the Smokies myself included uh, I don't know if we don't like the added oversight by the Ridge Runners or just the fact that you can't get out uh, it is a lot higher the mountains are a lot bigger but for whatever, for whatever reason we're always glad to get out but truthfully there's nothing you know generally to be worried about uh, it wasn't really any different than any other mountains but uh, just the fact they're a little bigger a little higher the weather can be a little unpredictable but we uh, you know we got run off by the one cold night but it can be icy in the trails we didn't have any that much to deal with whatever it was was manageable so all in all we had a good Smokies experience but uh, looking north looking for the next thing we uh, did mostly downhill today but uh, Smokies threw us one more good uphill to let us know that <laughs> it wasn't done with us but uh, glad to be moving on uh, really for the first time in North Carolina I saw some active trail maintenance today it's coming up from I-40 uh, somebody been doing some work well that's enough for today go and get me some sleep I'm nice warm and dry and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings good night